No, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. This bus is indeed steering itself. UC Berkeley engineers hope that one day a fleet of these automated buses will mimic a light rail system's efficiency and smoothness, but with a low cost of a bus system. Here's a question, is it gonna save me time? If you can connect a bus and a train together as a single system, then a lot of people will be more attracted to this system. Compare that to the, uh, to, to the millions of dollars of rail system per mile, that is a significant order difference. When pulling into a stop, this bus really does operate more like a train, getting within an inch to the curb, something that's very, very difficult to do on a traditional bus with a real-life bus driver. Here's how the technology works. It's a ceramic magnet. It's exactly the same as you put on your refrigerator. We basically embed it half an inch to an inch under the road. Now that becomes your rail. Spaced every three to four feet apart on this one-mile stretch of road, the bus's two magnetometers under the doors follow the path. But how do would-be passengers feel about riding on this robotic bus? It's not a problem for me because um, the subway without a driver already exists in France. I'd first let all the politicians go on at first. No, it's got to be real. <laughs> we got to keep it real. Don't expect to ride one of these automated buses anytime soon. Testing will begin in the San Francisco Bay Area in the year 2010. In San Leandro, California, I'm Cara Suboy, CNET.com.